Growth, change, buzzwords in Seattle, mentioned multiple times in the buildup to a bid for Amazon's second headquarters. So the city of Seattle didn't offer up a site within the city for that second headquarters, but offered up a new tax. That's John Scholes, president of the Downtown Seattle Association, reacting to the latest buzz, a new tax. So we've got a serious problem in our city when it comes to homelessness. We don't think this is a serious proposal. Seattle can't afford to wait. Today's Seattle Council Budget Chair Lisa Herbold included the head tax proposal in her initial 2018 balancing package as a way to raise $25 million for a homeless shelter and support. I think restoration of the employee hours tax on some segment of large business is fair. Taxing jobs is ill-advised. Today, Mayor Tim Burgess indicated he will not support the idea, which comes on top of his already proposed $62 million pitch to pay for services for the unsheltered. Seattle already has the highest business tax rate of any municipality in the state of Washington. Instead, he says the city should follow through on his proposal to tax short-term rentals, which Burgess says could accomplish the same goals. We'll raise eight to $10 million a year. Those funds could be dedicated to this particular problem. And those taxpayers, the short-term rental platforms like Airbnb and Expedia and others, are willing to pay this tax. So there's no controversy. About Would he veto a head tax? I'm not sure. I, I'll cross that bridge if I have to. Herbold suggests there is room for negotiation with an issue where there is only one thing people can seem to agree on. I think everybody's frustrated. The Seattle City Council appears split on this idea right now. Council members Herbold, Mike O'Brien, Kirsten harris Talley, and Shama Sawan have all spoken out in favor of it. Council members Sally Bagshaw, Rob Johnson, Deborah Juarez, and Lorena Gonzalez have voiced their opposition. There will be more budget deliberations next week. In Seattle, I'm Chris Daniels, King 5 News.